Hey, good morning. This is Attorney Adam Tracy. Um, we want to talk today about the uh, BTCE shutdown and what the implications are of that have been. There's been a lot of calls, a lot of questions, especially in the message boards. What do I do? What are my options? What's actually going on? Um, we'll start with what's going on. First of all, what happened was there was some pendant criminal investigation involving BTCE where the government alleges that BTCE was using, uh, is being used as a conduit to launder not only money but coin that may have been stolen from other exchanges and things of that nature. So what happened in addition to the, the kind of high profile arrest is that the government seized BTCE's servers. So all of the data that, uh, you know, any BTCE user account holder had is now effectively in the hands of the, of the government. And they're undoubtedly going to review those servers to see positions and, you know, ideally try to piece together whatever this crime may have been. Um, the, the practical problem with all of this is that for BTCE account holders is that there's no way to really get to your coin. Um, and you know, there's been some talk on the message boards and through Twitter from somebody purporting to be with BTCE that you know, they would eventually regain access and be able to distribute everybody's coin. Well, in my experience, having been involved with white collar crime and white collar criminal defense in the past, these investigations go on for years, years. Even things that may seem simple in terms of guilt or innocence can take a very, very, very long time to actually work themselves out. So if you're assuming that at some point in time in the near future, BTCE will somehow get their servers back, get their data back, and be able to distribute these things to everybody, I wouldn't really rely on that on that statement. I don't think that's going to happen because that's just not the nature of, of these types of criminal cases, and it's certainly not in line with the rate and how far they, and how fast rather they go. So I, I think the question becomes, what do you do? What, what are your options as a BTCE account holder? Um, you know, and you can see from other exchange situations where exchanges have collapsed, and you know, either the government comes in and takes over, or there's a, a, a private receiver, and they try to sort of uh, liquidate, you know, what what what's in there to account holders. In most cases, the, the account holders wind up with very little compared to what they may have had in the account. So typically waiting for the government or, or some uh, court to adjudicate the rights of you know, individuals who are account holders, it's not very beneficial. Um, you're not going to see you know, anywhere near your whole position. And what complicates matters is that you know, this is a primarily offshore venture where you've got uh, operations in, in Europe, you've got operations in Russia, you've got servers in many, 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 many places. So I, the question of what law would prevail, what, uh, what court or government would ultimately oversee that liquidation remains to be seen. So I think when you're looking at it from the perspective of how do I get my coin back, I don't think waiting for the government or court to really do anything is probably in your best interest. Uh, you know, one one perspective strategy that I've discussed with with some individuals who have called me is is looking at the assets that are within the United States. Uh, BTC you used among others uh, Mastercard, Visa for deposits. They used Perfect Money. They used UCash and other things, which, while based in the UK, rely uh, in part on uh, banking. Uh, bank accounts that are within the United States. And uh, a United States court can only have access or only have jurisdiction over assets which are located in the United States, which would include these bank accounts. Conceivably, you know, those are assets that an aggrieved account holder who otherwise can't get to their coin could, you know, conceivably convince a court to allow them to, to freeze or subsequently uh, execute a judgment on if you're able to execute a judgment. And I would imagine that obtaining a judgment against BTCE would be rather easy because there's no one there to really defend it and why would they bother defending any sort of lawsuit at this point anyway? They certainly have bigger problems to to sort of to sort of work through. So um, you know unfortunately y you've got a limited recourse at the moment, but I think that limited recourse is far better than than what the what history would show. Uh, you know, typically happens in scenarios like this, especially in the cryptocurrency space, and even in in the securities world, when you have hedge funds and other things that get uh, that have to be unwound or liquidated, you know, because of fraud or things of that nature. So, again, I'm uh, Adam Tracy. More than happy to discuss uh, any issues with BTCE. 
feel free to give me a call. Uh, visit me on my website, bitcoin-lawyer.org, and I will uh, talk to you guys soon.